In this video, we're going to be covering the alternative text format known as VitalSource. To start off, we're going to click Sign In, go down to Create an Account, and click Student, College, and then from here, we're just going to fill out the information. After filling out the information using your UNI email address and entering your name, go ahead and click Last Step. On the last step, under Country Institution, go ahead and put United States, and then for the institution name, type in University of Northern Iowa. You can agree to have email sent to you with updates and also agree to the terms and privacy. When you're done, click Create Account. Once you log in and you are back at the home page, you will notice at top you have different drop down menus. There's Browsing Subjects, My Bookshelf, and Redeem. If you go to Browse Subjects, you will see that you can search for different textbooks using the different subjects. You can also search for books up top using the ISBN number, the title, or the author's name. The next drop-down menu is My Bookshelf. If you click on this, it will open up a new tab, and this is where you can view all the different books that you have bought. If you click Continue Reading, the book will appear. On the left-hand side, you will see different menu options as well. If you click Library, it will take you back to that home screen where you can view your different books. If you click Table of Contents, a Table of Contents will appear, and you can then easily navigate through your books depending on the chapters that you want to go to. If you click search, you can search for keywords that are in the book. When reading the book, you are able to highlight different words or sentences. By scrolling and highlighting over them, you can then click the highlight button. Once highlighted, you can go over to notebook and see the things that you've highlighted. When they are highlighted, you can click add note and jot down any thoughts or notes that you had while you were reading this. By clicking on the Erlenmeyer flask, you will be able to activate the read aloud function. This is the text to speech settings on the program. If you click launch, click start recording from the top and your book will start to read. Trevor, pray. I grew up in a world run by women You can then go down and change the rate of which this voice is read to you, the pitch, and the volume. By going under Voices, you can click the drop-down menu. Here you'll see a long list of different languages and voices. Currently, using Microsoft, you can use these two accents and different voices, but you have the ability to download through Google different accents. If you're using a textbook that has different figures or graphs, you can click on this button and you'll be able to access those. Scrolling down to flashcards, you can then create a new set of flashcards. This will help you study. When you're done reading your book, you can go back home to the library and then view the other books. By going back up to the other tab that was opened, we can be back at that home page. By clicking on the little face over here, you can then view all of your account settings and different devices. By clicking on devices, you can then see all the other devices that you have access to. You can download VitalSource on a phone or a tablet to have your books with you at all times and still have the ability to have them read to you. 
This has been an overview of Vital Source. If you have any questions, please contact Student Accessibility Services at University of Northern Iowa or refer back to the website at sas.uni.edu. Thank you.